Okay, welcome back. Uh, today, just going to go over this homemade custom screen for the uh, home projector, so to speak. Um, a lot of people ask, should I go with white or should I go with gray silver screen? Um, I think it comes down to personal preference. I went with the white because I did a lot of research that if you get a LCD projector, um, white kind of makes it stand out more vibrant and bright, kind of like a, a HD TV. And that's the kind of effect I was looking for. Um, I'm down here in Florida. There's my patio, double sliding doors. A tremendous amount of light comes in here as you can see on the floor there it's actually shadows the Sun is so bright like it usually is in Florida um, I can shut those blinds and it can be pitch dark in here but I like the both of both worlds so I went with the white paint and a nail CD projector let's get a little closer look now people ask me, okay, what kind of paint was it? I picked the, um, I went to Home Depot and picked Bears. You could get top shelf or the uh, basic, most plain ever. On this particular wall, I went with the Bears flat white 1750 white. There's different codes, like there's 2200, 2250, and 1750. I went with the 1750 Bears white flat matte paint. And what I did, and I don't even know if this is necessary, but I went with, I think, two gallons of paint in this little section there on the wall. It took me paint dries very fast I have a, I had the fan on and everything so every 20 minutes I would put another coat on it took me a, a few days and then that actually there's so many coats of paint on there I think it was two gallons probably took about anywhere from 10 to 12 coats and there was enough paint that when I was done on the wall that actually you can feel the difference how many layers of paint that took not much, it's, but you can see at it. Now as far as the frame, there's so many YouTube videos showing people that will take the black felt, they'll do wood all the way across. Some people do aluminum piping, PVC piping, and all that. Some people even do the wood and then they put a, um, the uh, rope lights behind it to give a glowing effect. Um, Unfortunately, I rent this four bedroom home. I've been here for five years. Um, whether I buy this house or not, I didn't want to put a real frame on the wall. And, I'm not, and also, I just didn't like that how it comes outside the wall. So, believe it or not, all that is is two inch masking tape. You get it in very different colors. I picked up a roll of that, it was a whopping $6. And what's nice about that is I can change this out all I want and I can even make let's say I wanted to go instead of four inches I could go two inches or I could go six inches it doesn't really matter because all it is tape it takes me only five minutes to put tape around it real quick and overall the size of that I would say I measured it that is about 150 inches from you know the top corner to the bottom right hand corner um, the projector itself sitting over there is the um, once again it's the Epson Cinema Home Theater 2000 that comes out with the LCD screen got it on Amazon for $8.29 with a hundred dollar gift card they give you after you make the purchase so in reality you can get a hundred dollars free um, this particular projector the Epson that can go to 380 or 360 inches I believe 
But once again, I didn't have a wall that big. And I sit about, I would say that's about 12 feet. And to me, that is gigantic for only 12 feet away, 150 inch. Now, for example, I got a Samsung 60 inch on the wall right there. And it almost looks like, that's like a tiny little 32 inch or something. That's how it makes it feel in this room. So once again, that projector will go up to 300 to 380, 360 to 380 inches. That is the smallest it will do at 12 feet away, which is 150 inch. So I've got the zoom completely out. Not only that, but I feel as you go bigger and bigger and bigger, that you'll lose the pixel density. So without any zoom or anything, this is all D 